crates off the train. Those cargo things. What did Sam say he needed it to be done? Oh, he said uh, to drop me off at his house, then we can go maybe jump it. Where at? What do you mean where at? Where to get dropped off at? What what gas station? Where, just the golf by Cedar Cliff. So what happened to your truck? It wouldn't start. I don't, the, these f***ing people don't need to know that. So you're I, it's not a channel about my f piece of sh truck. I'll probably be driving a car in the next six months anyways. No! F*** off! No, dude. Do not get a car. Dude, better gas mileage. No. Don't have to feather the f***ing gas pedal like you do and go 35 on the highway. Piss a bunch of people off. Dude, come on, man. You don't gotta do this to yourself. Sorry, bro. Oh, look at that. Mediocre sh like that. Dude, that's a cool truck, though. Dude, see, this is the kind of bull I don't like to put. What are your thoughts about those trucks? Nothing well, special about them. Well, the Ram is a bit too low. Nothing special about them. See, you record mediocre. 20 by It's the 12. same thing as recording a sedan, like that Chevy Cruze in front of us. You don't appreciate trucks. I do. But if they're stock, then I'm not going to say, oh, ooh, that's a... That's modified That's right one there. of a kind. That Chevy. Ram. Dude, that's cool, right? So what are your thoughts about this music, man? It's pretty good. It's pretty good music, bro. How about this song, bro? <laughs> So what do you think? Alright, right next to the electrical pole. Right on the other side of that brown electrical pole. This is Dude, why do you let that happen to yourself? I ruined the videos by yelling. Dude, you ruined your truck. I didn't do anything. A battery f***ing died. What do you mean? Keep up with maintenance. F*** off. Such a neglected Ford. I don't give a sh It's 21 years old. I don't have the time or money to put into it. Honestly, you pissed me off. There it is. It's such a sad moment in history, man. It's the battery died. You wrecked it, dude. Silverado performance. What is your thoughts about this truck right here? I like it. I've said that for a few years. So I'll hit you up in a couple hours and maybe we'll head to that big group and group social gathering. Alright, sounds good. So what we got planned now is that in a weekend from now we're going to be diesel eventing and yeah. then we're going to be snow tubing and we're also going to be heading down to the big city for just crazy nonsense and I'm going to get, get it all this on video for you guys. It's going to be crazy content for the channel. It's not going to be related, but whatever. Don't post that. All right, be ready. All right, see ya. I'll give you a call. <laughs> Peace. See ya. See ya. Well, I tried to offer my help to Mike. He doesn't want people to see that his truck broke down. We'll see how this pans out. But as for right now, we're going to be checking out what came in the mail and finally show you guys everything today, and that's the plan. Well, here goes nothing. Oh! Is it going? Uh-huh. All right, look. Uh, sorry about the wind guys. It's it's very very cold out here, but check it out. I took a lot more plastic salvage pieces out I did that the other day but as you can see it looks a lot worse now, doesn't it? The the parts of this even half of the, most of that is broken off now because it was just sitting there and laying there Now it's a real eyesore But I figured you no, know, I might as well take care of those pieces just in case the body shop doesn't if that's the plan Otherwise I could just duct tape it around. That's not what I was saying. So I'm gonna try to salvage a little bit here real quick Check it out, we just salvaged all this right here off of the truck. These are, the big ones are from the bull bar and then the small ones were from the, the plastic bug deflector there. And also actually from some from the grill guard there, the detachable part. Figured I'd keep these bolts because you never know when I'm gonna run into an issue and I'm gonna need these and these are the tools I use to do it. Figured they're gonna throw that stuff away anyway so might as well take it, right? All right.
So yeah, all right, check it out. Uh, it's 20 something degrees outside. It's actually a wind chill, so it's probably about 10 degrees outside, but I'm just gonna take care of that mess. Figure they're gonna bend that bracket anyway, and it's already corroding. There we go, truck is good as new. And I got another screw out of there, so I'm just gonna pack these away real quick. I guess just keep. All right, guys, come on in. I got something to show you. Check it out. <laughs> we got the new tires here. I know I showed you guys in previous in the previous videos, and I haven't really gone over it. But here's my chance to go over it. They're really cool. Yeah. So I guess I have the light set up over there so I can really give you a good, good, good synopsis or something on it. And here we go, we got the cruise right here as well. So I'm gonna pull one of these off. They're very heavy. Oh. All right, come on over here. And I guess stand in front of the light. Sort of, yeah. All right, so right here, don't mind this packing tape. It was just how they shipped it over, so there's just some damage to it. But so right here, we got.